Hey guys, Lark here from Wellington. We're going to be looking today uh, comparing two of the newest Litecoin miners on the market. So before we get into that, just one quick note, a uh, real quick shout out to everyone who has been uh, you know, liking and subscribing to the channel. Guys, your support is really felt and appreciated. So what are we looking at today? Today we are looking at uh, two top of the range Litecoin ASIC miners. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the uh, the L3 Plus Ant Miner. So I have just bought one of these, so I'm a little bit biased. But uh, it's an awesome machine with a lot of potential. Now, the immediate thing that uh, I've noticed today, before we even look at the numbers, is that uh, Litecoin mining is jumping up in difficulty. Right, so this is always something you have to take into account if you're going to go out and buy an ASIC miner. Is that this difficulty goes up and like, hey, this I'm not getting mine until October, right? The difficulty might have doubled yet again by then, right? And the price of Litecoin might have gone down. Who the hell knows? This is the crypto world. There's significant risk in this game. And that absolutely has to be kept in mind. Anytime you think about making an investment in anything crypto related is that there is a lot of risk. Now, that being said, am I happy with this risk? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's This is my, my cool new toy. But that being said, we're going to be looking at inner silicons today, too. So let's let's have a look at the numbers here. So Antminer L3 Plus, 504 mega hash. Holy cow. That's a lot. Right. Uh, the price tag on this guy is right around two thousand dollars. So it's you know definitely a, an expensive machine, without a doubt. Um, so keep that in mind. But it really delivers as far as on the power and the uh, the power consumption. Speaking of which, is uh, pretty good as well. You know it's below a thousand watts, which uh, I don't know how much your power costs where you live, but uh, for me is pretty good because the lower the better. The lower the better. Holy cow, power is expensive in New Zealand. So. Pop some uh, info into the, the light mine, Litecoin mining calculator here on uh, coinwars.com. And so that's uh, 504,000 kilohashes, 800 watts. And like I said, power is kind of expensive here in New Zealand, so 25 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. You know, as you can see, the difficulties uh, up at uh, 391,000 at the moment. Uh, we're not putting the hardware costs in here. We're just going to do the brute numbers. So uh, currently I'm looking at about 236 Litecoins a year. Not too bad, uh, not too bad at all, you know. So that's uh, minus my seventeen hundred dollars uh, for power. I'm left with about nine grand now. I expect by the time that I get this machine, uh, that Litecoin number will have dropped yet again, you know. But I'm kind of okay with that, you know. I'm kind of okay with that if I can double my money on this machine and then be holding a big pile of Litecoins. And again, this is only for the first year, right? Year two, it's still going to return profits. Year three, it's still going to return profits, although you know, albeit much diminished by that point. But, um, you know, I'm really happy with the stats on this machine. You know, so it's uh, definitely a significant um, amount of Litecoin that you're going to be able to harvest uh, using one of these, right? So to mine using one of these. So the, this is a, a really good um, unit. Now, the one thing you do have to keep in mind here is that uh, the price, right, right down here, but da Two thousand U.S. dollars. You got to pay another hundred bucks for the power unit and another hundred bucks for shipping. Now, uh, even though it sucks, my power is expensive here in New Zealand. The one bonus that I have is that I have got uh, New Zealand has got a free trade agreement with China, so I don't have to pay any customs duties when this thing hits hits me here. If you live in Canada, uh, the USA, uh, a whole bunch of other countries, you really need to check that before you buy any of these products online, because chances are you're going to be hit with a, uh, you know. 10, 20, 30, 40 percent um, customs duty when this comes to you. Bitmain does not pay the customs duty. They just pay the shipping. Well, you have to pay the shipping, but they don't include that uh, customs duty in the shipping costs. So, you know, do be aware that when it lands, you got to pay that extra money too. So, you know, be aware of what it is where you live because that's a big thing to take in. So, you know, total up uh, about 2,200 bucks. And uh, what are we getting again? A lot yeah so you know even after power and stuff you're still coming out about seven grand i would expect probably about five grand off this machine in the end by the time the difficulty goes up but hey you know uh, i have actually got a really big um you know faith in litecoin that litecoin's actually going to shoot up quite a bit 
I still think it's massively uh, undervalued. I would not be surprised if we saw a uh, Litecoin getting up to, you know, a hundred bucks a coin or something like that. You could see over here that we've got, um, you know, it's actually a bit down today. It's only at 44. Obviously, I think we hit a, what was a 57 last week or something like that. You know, so Litecoin, and that's based on today's numbers, this uh, Litecoin mining calculator here. You know, so it's uh, even a low estimate because, to be honest, the Litecoin is going to go up. You know, I'd be blown away if it doesn't. You know, it's a coin that is basically as good as Bitcoin, and it's got three times the uh, total, well, three and a half times the total supply of Bitcoin. You know, so when you think of it like that, you know, the fact that it's only 50 bucks makes it way undervalued. You know, some people are saying, hey, it's going to be 100 bucks, it's going to be 500 bucks, 1000 bucks, whatever. Maybe long term we'll see, you know, the $1,000 Litecoin. But I think, um, you know, definitely probably by the end of the year, we could be really looking at a $100 Litecoin. You know, if the market doesn't get too flooded with all these new miners coming in. Now, I promised you we're going to look at InnoSilicon as well. Uh, InnoSilicon's also got a, a pretty nice little mining machine here. You know, I, I don't dislike the uh, the InnoSilicon uh, model. I just don't think it's good value for money, right? If their unit was about uh, 500 bucks less, I'd probably get one just because why the hell not? But uh, it's not. Unfortunately, it's $1,500 for the unit. So it's a 280 mega hash unit. Remember, the other one's 504, right? For only another 500 bucks, you get another 220 mega hashes. So that's a pretty big deal, actually. You know, and you've got uh, two of these things here, two fans running in your house. You know, so if you've got a basement or something to put that in, I guess that doesn't matter. But uh, i got a small apartment, so, you know, it's uh, going to be buzzing away over in the corner all the time. Um, also, uh, the power use is uh, much higher, 1,050. I know that 250 watts doesn't seem like a massive amount straight up, but uh, it really does add up over the course of the year. You know, here we've got a uh, 2,000... A two hundred twenty nine dollar, so sorry, two thousand two hundred ninety nine dollar uh, power cost versus uh, one thousand seven hundred fifty two power cost over here. So you're basically another twelve hundred bucks a year in power. And hey, like I said, that's a big variable depending on where you live. If you live somewhere you have cheap power or free power, who has free power? Somebody's got free power. If you have free power, if you got you know solar panels and a, a Tesla battery in your house and stuff, and that's what you're rolling, man, you're gonna kill on this thing. Because you don't have to pay any of that power cost, right? And even look at my other video talking about the getting the Bitmain miner as well uh, for the Bitcoin, right? That's that's also a great investment if you don't have to pay the power. The power costs are killer on these machines, right? They're really uh, intense uh, machines that use up a lot of power, and they got to run them 24 hours a day. So, you know, that is definitely something to take into account here. Now, this is an estimated return of 131 Litecoin, 131 Litecoin. So again, have a look back here at the numbers. This one, fifteen hundred bucks for the unit, hundred bucks for the PSU. That's the power supply unit, and about a hundred bucks for shipping. And again, InnoSilicon also doesn't do anything with the customs duties, so you gotta take care of that yourself. Now, um, not available either of these at the moment. They're both sold out, and um, you can pre-order now on the uh, the InnoSilicon. You'll have yours uh, around October sometime. Around October sometime. Um, when I was looking, they, yeah, still, you got a minimum order quantity of five units, which is fucking ridiculous, to be honest. But I guess that brings the price down significantly. I don't even know why they advertise one. I, I emailed them. You can get one. They don't like selling one, but you can get one if you just want to buy one unit from InnoSilicon. So I was looking at that, and, uh, you know, they will do it. They don't want to, but they will. Um, but it's uh, obviously a massive deal. If you can uh, get them for you know about a thousand fifty a piece at that price, at a thousand fifty bucks, they're actually more competitive than the, uh, the Bitmain. Uh, again, ju that's just based on pure hashing power. But then of course you know you gotta account for your electricity. Do not forget about the electricity costs because that's gonna be big as well. So you know, uh, you guys see the numbers, you can compare them. I'll put links to both these in the uh, the description, but down below. So you know, if you do want to get it on the pre-order or you know keep an eye out for them, just to look a little more at the pages yourself, uh, that information is there for you. So guys, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you are oh, actually, one more thing before we before we finish up, uh, Litecoin mining.
basically only takes place on ASICs right now. I know in the past, Genesis Mining had a Litecoin contract. They're not offering at the moment. I would expect that that will come back pretty soon because it's really popular, and I'm sure they've been getting a lot of demands for it. So I would keep an eye out for that coming back. Uh, Hashflare also offers a, ha a, a Litecoin Mining contract, but they don't pay you out on Litecoin. You get paid out in Bitcoin, which isn't bad, but... You're not getting Litecoin. So if you're really after that Litecoin, uh, you might be able to hang out and get uh, a contract over at Genesis um, for, of course, you know, maybe uh, a lowish price, I would imagine, especially in comparison to, uh, you know, the outlay you'd have to wait, pay here. But uh, who knows when that will be back. And, of course, uh, Litecoin does have a lot of market potential. So even if you, you think, God, I can't afford, uh, you know, two grand plus, right, or I... Um, you know, I can't wait around for Genesis to get their shit together and, you know, put a put a new uh, contract out. Just head over to the markets and buy a few. You know, Litecoin is not a bad asset to hold on to by any means. In fact, it's a really great asset to hold on to. You know, but go over and buy 10 of them or something. You know, just put them on your wallet, hide it somewhere. Don't look at the markets, forget about it. Come back to it in a year and, you know, get your money. So anyway, okay, now I'm done. I swear to God. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, as always, you know, hit the, uh, hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more uh, great uh, crypto news and comparisons and, uh, you know, uh, updates on sort of, you know, uh, where I am at with my mining um, uh, and trading career as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching.